With the launch of Siege 19, we knew we were going to be getting Breach and Clear back, but it was going to be a little different, play more into its Void 3.0 effects. Well, I just unlocked it currently in the game. If we take a look at it, we have Weakened Clear. It says, when using a grenade launcher, damaging a boss, damaging a champion, or breaking the combatant shield, reloads your stowed weapon and weakens the combatant. The key part to that is where it says weakens, and it's even highlighted in blue because it actually will play into your Void 3.0 Weaken effects. Now more on that later, you're probably wondering more so how the Weaken effect actually works, what's the percentages, how long does it last, and that is what I wanna go over right now. So the original Breach and Clear was a nine cost mod that gave you a 30% damage increase, whereas this one is a five cost, so you can probably expect that the percentage is going to be a little bit lower. And you would be expecting correctly because this does only give a 15% damage increase. As you see in this clip, I originally hit for 1,900 11 damage but then when i take the shield off i go to 2198 so it's definitely not a huge increase but it is really easy to proc on any form of vaults just to get some extra damage so with that knowledge i think this mod still will be relatively good it's just not going to be that 30 percent damage buff that we used to know and love now on top of that the duration of this is actually kind of crazy if you take a look at this clip right now it will last a long time because it lasts a total of 20 seconds or somewhere around 20 seconds of a 15 percent damage increase obviously you could just shoot this on a boss and now your entire team is doing 15 percent more damage for 20 seconds that in itself is very strong and it makes it so you don't have to keep reapplying it over and over again so you don't even have to run things like anarchy if you don't want to and then finally the last effect that it has is that weaken effect as you see i do have on the fragment where i would generate an orb of power if i kill a weakened enemy with the precision kill and if i go on to weaken the target get a precision kill it will actually generate an orb of power for me which means this can play into things like your hunter aspect it can play into things like repulsor brace there's a bunch of things that can tie into the verb of weaken and i think this is actually a pretty cool addition that they added so overall it is definitely a lot weaker than what the original one was but they did have the added benefit of applying weakened effects and on top of that it is only a five cost mod now instead of a nine cost which I think is relatively good. I think this is in a pretty balanced spot. It probably will still be used a lot. It is just a 15% damage buff. If you don't have your team running Divinity, this is gonna be a nice thing to just shoot a grenade launcher on them and then start just going to town with other weapons. But anyway, let me know what you all think about the updated Breach and Clear, now known as Weak and Clear. And if you guys did enjoy and learn anything new, consider subscribing, drop a like, turn those notifications on. Also, if you'd like to join my Discord or follow me on any of my socials, all that will be linked in the description below. But just know watching this video is way more than enough and that every single the best support from y'all is truly appreciated thank y'all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace